Superheroes have captured our attention and imagination for a very long time. Numerous comic books that gave life to superheroes and villains later became high-budget movies. However, how far from reality are these fictional characters? Hi, I'm Mr. Mysterious, and I'll be telling you about real-life superheroes with out-of-the-ordinary abilities. You'll meet a handful of people that can be classed as superheroes because of their unusual abilities. So, here are five humans with real superpowers. Ben Underwood Echolocation, also known as biosonar, is the ability of certain animals to quickly identify objects that surround them. In other words, certain kinds of living beings, like bats, whales, dolphins, and some birds, have evolved their senses to emit calls out to the environment and listen to the echoes that return from various objects around them. There are also examples of human echolocation, and one of the best-known individuals that developed this rare ability is a boy named Ben Underwood. Even though Ben was born perfectly healthy, his mother soon realized that something was wrong with his eyes. It was soon discovered that there was a rapidly growing malignant tumor in Ben's eyes. This was a very rare infant eye cancer that affects about one in every six million children. Since the prognosis was that the tumor would ultimately spread along his optic nerve and into his brain, his mother made a heart-wrenching decision in an effort to save Ben's life. His eyes were removed, along with the malignant tumor. Just about one year after the operation, Ben Underwood astonished his mother when he performed what seemed like a miracle. He was able to get very precise information about his environment by picking up the sounds reflecting from objects in his surroundings. When he was seven, Ben discovered a new way to get an even clearer picture of what was surrounding him by producing frequent clicking noises with his tongue. This allowed him to do things that other blind people can only dream of, like riding a bike, playing basketball, rollerblading, and skateboarding. Scientists at the University of California wanted to see and study how Ben navigated with such a faint signal. They discovered that he has normal hearing, just like the rest of us. However, his brain learned to translate the sound he hears into visual information. The scientists claimed that Ben was one of the most proficient human echolocators ever discovered. Sadly, Ben died in 2009, at the age of 16, from the same cancer that took his vision. Natasha Demkina More than a century ago, German physicist Wilhelm Rutgen announced his discovery of an invisible form of radiation that could make photographs of bones and organs inside a living human body. The discovery of X-rays wasn't well received at first, because many scientists claimed that this discovery was actually a hoax. It didn't take long for them, however, to become convinced about one of the greatest discoveries in science and medicine. Today, there's a woman living in Russia who claims to have a special kind of vision which lets her see inside of human bodies and make diagnosis that she claims are often more accurate than those of doctors. Natasha Demkina was born in 1987 in Sadansk, Russia. According to her mother, she was a fast learner, but otherwise a normal child. This seemingly changed one day when Natasha was 10 years old and her ability began to manifest itself. According to Natasha, and in her own words, she is able to switch from her regular vision to what she calls medical vision. For a fraction of a second, Natasha can see colorful pictures inside the person and then start to analyze it. Very soon after Natasha's story began to spread, people began to gather outside her home seeking medical consultations. Her story was picked up by a local newspaper and a local television station, which ultimately spread to London, New York, and Tokyo. In May of 2004, she was brought to New York by the Discovery Channel to appear on a documentary series. Natasha agreed to be tested by skeptical researchers from the Committee for Skeptical Inquiry 
under partially controlled conditions. She was giving her readings to seven individuals who had certain medical conditions. Even though most of the people who were given these readings felt that Natasha accurately identified their conditions, the researchers were not impressed. They suspected that Natasha may have been using a simple technique called cold reading, commonly used by psychics, astrologers, and fortune tellers. Even though Natasha successfully identified four individuals and their medical conditions, she failed to see a large metal plate covering a missing section of the skull in a man who had had a large tumor removed. She also failed to identify an individual who had had their appendix removed. During another test in Tokyo, she successfully managed to identify that a subject had a prosthetic knee, as well as that another individual had asymmetrically placed internal organs. Natasha also claims to have detected the early stages of pregnancy and an undulating spinal curvature in another subject. Liam Hoekstra Even though every new child has a few surprises, imagine bringing home a baby to find he was born with a strength beyond the biological limits of most humans. Liam Hoekstra was born in 2005 and is now living with his adopted parents, Dana and Neil Hoekstra, in Roosevelt Park, Michigan. His first display of super strength happened when he was five months old and started doing an expert gymnast move called the Iron Cross. By eight months old, Liam could do a pull-up, and by nine months, he could climb up and down stairs. His worried parents took the boy to specialists that managed to diagnose Liam with an extremely rare condition loosely called myostatin-related muscle hypertrophy. This condition is so rare that only a few similar cases have ever been documented in medical literature. In layman's terms, this means that Liam's body can build muscle incredibly fast. Scientific tests performed on Liam showed that he had over three times the strength of an average three-year-old. At that time, the test showed that Liam was as strong as the average seven-year-old boy. On the other hand, this also means that Liam has a monstrous appetite. According to his adopted mother, Liam is hungry for a full meal about every hour because of his rapid metabolism. Due to his rare medical condition, Liam has been studied by the Amgen Biotech Company in California, John Hopkins University in Baltimore, and the Acceleron Company in Massachusetts, but he has yet to hear of a success. There is currently no way to stop Liam's muscles from growing at an abnormal rate. Dean Carnazes. Dean Carnazes is a 53-year-old with a rare condition which allows his body to rapidly flush lactic acid from his system before it builds up in his muscles. What this means is that Dean can run for hours without getting tired. Typically, as we exercise, the body converts glucose to energy, which produces lactic acid as a byproduct. As that builds up in the muscles, it begins causing cramps and fatigue. However, Dean somehow never receives those signals. As a result, he's able to keep on running without stopping. In 2006, Dean embarked on the well-publicized race called Endurance 50. His goal was to complete 50 marathons in 50 states in 50 consecutive days. He managed to overcome the endurance and logistical difficulties of his goal and finished the final marathon, the New York City Marathon, on an official day in three hours and 30 seconds. He weighed 154 pounds at the start of his journey and 153 pounds at the end. What may be even more fascinating is that he decided to run home to San Francisco from New York City, but he ended his trek in Missouri to spend more time with his family. As Dean said, at a certain level of intensity, he can go a long way without tiring. During one of his incredible feats, he was able to keep running for three days and three nights without sleeping, although he admits that the third night took all of his willpower. Today, Dean regularly runs the equivalent of a marathon before breakfast.
Lawrence Kim Peake. Lawrence Kim Peake was an American savant, known for his exceptional memory, in addition to being the inspiration for the character of Raymond Babbitt in the movie Rain Man. Peake was born in Salt Lake City, Utah in 1951. He was immediately diagnosed with macrocephaly, which is a condition in which the head is abnormally large. At the same time, his doctors diagnosed damage to the cerebellum, as well as a condition where the bundle of nerves that connects the two hemispheres of the brain is missing. It seems like this incredibly rare medical condition resulted in some astonishing capabilities that Peake had. Peake was capable of reading a book in about an hour and remember everything he had read. As an article in Time Magazine noted, he could accurately recall the contents of at least 12,000 books. Peake memorized vast amounts of information in subjects ranging from history and literature to geography and numbers to sports, music, and dates. In addition, he read by scanning the left page with his left eye while scanning the right page with his right eye. On the other hand, Peake also experienced social difficulties. He didn't walk until he was four years old. He could not button his shirt and had difficulties with ordinary motor skills. What is more interesting still is that he scored below average on general IQ tests. This is one of the reasons why he was expelled from school for being uncontrollable. Still, he managed to complete the high school curriculum by the age of 14 while having tutors visit his house twice a week for 45 minutes. Peake died of a heart attack at his home in 2009, aged 58. His father took care of him throughout his entire life and performed motor tasks that he found difficult. If you find it mysterious, then share and like this video. Also, be sure to subscribe because you don't want to miss what's coming next. As always, thank you for watching.